All right, folks, so what we have here is the BTEC DMR6X2. And what we're going to do in this video is upload the entire DMR ID database to this radio. You're going to need a programming cable which ships with this particular radio. Now, it may look like other programming radio cables, but it's not. There's no circuitry and there is no uh, chips or anything like that in there. It's just a pass through cable. Let's go ahead and connect the cable to the radio. So we want to open the mic and earphone ports on the side of the radio by pulling back this little hatch or door. And then we want to take the cable and make sure that it is firmly seated in the radio. Once we've done that, we're going to take the USB connector and plug it into the laptop. Okay, now we are ready to go. We're going to go to an internet site called Amateur radio dot digital and that's a little bit of a different URL than most people are used to but that's where you want to go and then when you go here you will have the option to download your digital contacts so go ahead and click that option you're going to be presented with a digital contacts wizard in the first step you want to pick your radio in this case it's the BTEC DMR 6x2 and then you're going to click next once you do this, you're going to be presented with a bunch of information about new features and filters that you can use to apply to the um, database of digital IDs. There's only 103,000, there's 103,000, it's not only, um, contacts, and we're going to import them all because our radio supports 160,000 contacts. We are going to go ahead and move on to step number three, and really just clicking the link here to download the database it's going to come down in the CSV file. Let's give it a couple of seconds to download. Once the database is downloaded, we can double click on it and open it with Excel. Once it's in Excel and open, let's just take a couple of seconds to go through and take a look at the database and familiarize ourselves with the types of information that are here and then the column headings. We're going to go ahead and we're going to import this into the radio using what is called the CPS or Computer Programming Software. In your CPS software, you have a menu option for tool. And then you want to pick import. And then from the dialog box that opens up, you want to go ahead and pick the option for digital contact ID. Next, you'll have to browse to the CSV file that you downloaded from the website that we saw earlier in the video. Once you do that, and never mind the curious face here, that's just blocking a little bit of ID information for me, go ahead and click Import. And then it'll begin the process of importing the database of DMR IDs. This is going to take a while, so I actually sped this up. It's going to take much longer on your computer. While the import is taking place, you will get a number of messages on your radio saying that it is reading and writing from the PC and then it will tell you that the radio is being updated so please don't turn it off. Next we'll check our digital contact list to make sure that everything was updated correctly. It'll take a second or two to load. Once it loads you'll be able to view and check all of the information that was imported At this point, you want to select program from the menu, and then you're going to want to write this information to your radio. You get a couple of prompts, just click OK. This is sped up, so it will go much slower on your computer. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to write the DMR ID database to the radio. And with that, we're done. This is a pretty simple task. Anyhow, if you like this video and you want to see more content of a similar nature, go ahead and click like, maybe leave a comment and subscribe. I want to thank everybody for watching. I really appreciate it.